Hello everyone and welcome back to Besiege. I just want to start off by saying that I'm not currently accepting any new vehicle submissions because I already have so many. So if you could hold off sending me your vehicles, that would be great. We're going to look at a few vehicles today and then I'm going to show you some other cool stuff as well. Uh, somebody found out something really cool in the game that basically allows you to get perpetual motion. So I'm going to try that out. But first we're going to look at this thing. It is a carpet bomber. Someone, I don't know if someone made this for me or if they got a BSG online that's the, the file for it. Because uh, I've seen something really similar to this. But basically what you do is you turn it down really, really low. And you hold O when you start. And you start spinning. That, I really got slow on that. Oh, Jesus. What was that? I didn't do anything. Try that. Try that again. Why? Why'd you have to go and explode like that? What if I light it on the ground to start? Hey, that works. Look at that. Now we can go up. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. They're totally going to hurt me. Oh, oh, I'm in the air this time. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Now we increase the speed. And I didn't, I don't know how to drop them. I'm guessing V might drop them. Woo. Oh, that's a lot of bombs right there. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Nobody died? How did nobody die? What the hell is this shit? How are you all standing there in a big pile? I hope this thing falls on you at least. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I think it's touching the trees, guys. We can't go up that high, apparently. If you go up too high, it touches trees and nobody dies. You can't have that. You can't have nobody dying. You son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? Forget it. These things just don't work out for me, apparently. Unless we went really high. What if we went super high? We're gonna go super high. What the hell? You didn't even give me a chance to go super high that time. Now can we do what you think? Maybe now? Boom! Okay, see, that's that's that should be far, far enough away that they won't actually interfere with each other. Oh my god. I think I killed everything. Oh my god, guys. I think I know what's going on here. Somebody has built me a torture machine like the one that I made, that'll actually work. Because you can use this thing to grab it. Will this work? Is, is this a good way to pick people up? Apparently, apparently it might be, okay? There's a lot of controls here. These are all on the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and C. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got this. Hold on. Just got to spin this guy over here a little bit, okay? And I got to find out how the hell I'm going to control this thing, because that is not going to work very well. We're going we're gonna to park. They're not gonna. They're not going to do anything wrong. And we gotta use these buttons. Come on. Oh! Get him! So close! Yes, I got him. Okay. Take him up. Look at him. Look how alive he is right now. We got this. We gotta turn him over. Turn him over with the. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh! Oh! We're gonna put him in. C, right? C puts him in. We need to kind of close these up a little bit first. Hold on, buddy. And C. Hey, wait, don't you jump out. Don't, 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 there, there we go, okay. He'll do his little thing in there. And then when we're ready, we can open up the back. No, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Everything is kind of wobbling a bit. Open up the back and come on out. We're done, we're done in here, get out. Come on, you can do it. Oh, go around. Uh, where, where, how's, okay, okay, there we go, and the body comes out. <laughs> there you go, guys. That's your little friend. His name is Tobias. Go and cry over his death or whatever. Well, that's pretty cool anyway, guys. This can actually do it. This this is a way to pick things up. I never really thought about that, putting a bunch of uh, hinges together and stuff. It's kind of complicated, but it works. And also, um, there's, a, there's a button over it. There's one of these buttons that'll actually choo-choo. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I know I know tractors don't really say choo-choo, but they do now. And I just, I just detached my... Uh, my thing and and I still haven't found that shit I detached something else you know what whatever it's all good okay guys this is called the simple bomber I'm pretty sure we can put this at full speed it's not it's not a difficult machine to run it's actually really simple all it is is some balloons and oh shit oh shit hang on hang on don't don't get too crazy here now Matt don't don't get too crazy okay it's a bit wobbly I expected it to run a little bit better than this but it comes over here okay People, people come over to see what's going on. Hey, what's that bomber doing over here? Ba bam! Oh shit! I broke myself. Okay, and we go up a little bit higher this time, and we drop. Okay, you can see that some people didn't die. That's cool. That's cool. We got lots of bombs over here. We'll go back and get some more. We're gonna go up a bit, and we're gonna destroy everything. Yeah. Okay, and there's still a couple dudes left. Still a couple dudes who decide they didn't want to die. Wait for it. Wait for it, and drop. Boom! There go 
who's Odo? Who the hell names their kid Odo? And Gilbert. Gilbert died too. Because remember, guys, in this game, each person is actually two people put together. I think I mentioned that before. It's, it's important to know. Okay? Because your, your killing is twice as significant. If you kill someone, you're actually killing two people. Extra good. Here we go. And... Oh, crap. That missed him. But there's a bomb rolling towards him. <laughs> Lucky us. We don't have to go very far to get it. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. We just got to come over here. And... Drop the bomb. Boom! We finished everybody. And we destroyed the castle. All with the vehicle that kept going back and reloading. I love it. Well, this thing is called Torture 2000. I have no idea how it works. It's got grabbers on it, though. Okay, these things move up. I don't know what that's going to do, but they do it. And uh, and something at the top. Oh, okay, here we go. Got to move that down. How are you going? Oh. Oh, my God. This is so perfect. This makes perfect sense. All you got to do now is just drive forwards and kill a bunch of people on your way. I wasn't trying to kill you guys right now. You can grab them all. And then what you do is you lift up again with the button that lifts up. There you go. Okay, you lift it up. And they will actually pivot as they as they get lifted so that they don't actually break physics. Okay, one guy died. That's fine. There's more left. Um, shit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to drop you guys in here, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, V. Yeah, it worked. Yet another way to pick people up and kill them. I love it. Okay, guys, it's time for me to show you something really awesome, okay? Basically... You can get perpetual motion in this game without the need of any motors, thanks to A, gears, and B, sliders. Someone finally actually found a use for sliders, yeah! So I'm going to try and build something here. I'm going to try and build like a windmill, okay? But it's not going to be just an ordinary windmill. No, sir. So all you got to do, guys, is you got to put a little thing here for, for a pivot. I guess you just put in a normal old pivot thing. We're not going to put any gears on here yet because we're just going to show it the normal way. Which would just be with, I guess, swivel joints like this. And then you take a thing and you put it in the middle. Now that should swivel. Yeah, look at that spinning around. That's good. So now what you do is you build a little cross. Okay, a little plus sign, whatever you want to call it. Addition. We're going to do some addition here. Um, and then you put the sliders on. So you got to find the sliders. I don't know why they're in the powered section. They're not powered. But you put them up like that, okay? And we can probably get away with three. And you put each one... Pointing in the other direction like this, you know, have a normal like, oh shit, another a normal thing would work so that you have a nice like cross thing. It's almost a swastika, but not quite. And then we light on the ground and we see what happens. Watch this. Do you see this thing? It is spinning on its own, and it slowly gets faster. I don't know how physics work in this game, but basically, look at that! Look at it spinning! Oh my god! Wait a minute. What if... Stop, 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 stop. This is too much for me. What if we did this? Okay, what if we took this thing, we moved it up, and we put things on the bottom of it to make it even higher, okay? Now, now bear with me for a second. We're going to make it higher. Then we're going to put bombs on the end. That's right, bombs. Things are about to get crazy in here. Okay, I just realized we're going to have trouble getting the last bomb on. We might be able to pick it up, though. We might be able to reach down and grab it somewhere, maybe off the ground. This should allow the bombs to attach. There we go. So the bombs have attached. And the machine should spin. Come on. Spin. There you go. Okay. She's spinning. You think she'll spin with just a few? I mean, it's not, it's not quite perfect here. Yeah, we need to conserve the momentum, of course. Okay. We need to get another bomb on there. How are we going to do this? I guess if we just track and see how the motion goes here, we should be able to put a bomb right down here where this one will grab it. It's okay. We got it. We got it this time. Watch. Grab. Yes. Okay. And then we jaded a couple. Now we're ready to go. Come on. Spin, baby, spin. You can do this. You can spin. I believe in you. There you go. <laughs> yes. Keep on spinning. Just keep spinning. It might get a little bit out of control here, but it's working. It is slowly gaining momentum from nowhere. If only we could do this in real life. Okay. Oh. oh. Blew up on its own. The couple. Phew. That one flew really far away. If we did that on its side, no, we can't do it on its side. Of course not. No, it won't work on its side. I was going to say you could do it on its side, but then it won't actually do the spinny thing. Unless you, of course, put gears on it. I don't know if they're going to patch this up. I hope they don't because it's really cool. And you don't even need to head that long. You can actually uh, we can delete all this stuff here. You can actually make it a lot shorter and it'll still work. So you can make little compact designs like it. Okay, I thought it was going to work, but it's not. Maybe, maybe I can put a boulder on top of it to get the, get the motor running, huh? 
to literally get the motor running in this case. Uh, where's the boulders at? Where, where, where are they at? Weapons. Boulder. Put the boulder on top. That'll spin it. Boom. <laughs> that just had to get it started. And now it's spinning like crazy. So I'm not really sure how you get the gears to work in this, guys. I will find out for the next episode. But right now, after seeing all those torture machines, I would like to build my own. But I'm not going to build a torture machine this time. I'm going to build a torture factory. Okay? It is going to torture you a bunch. They may look dead. They may look dead after they, um, you know, after they curl up in a ball. But they're not dead, okay? They're just ready to be tortured. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so here is how it starts, okay? We got something that looks like this. Nothing fancy, but when you press 1 and 2, they'll actually move towards each other, okay? You, you see where I'm coming from with this? Um, I don't know if this will work quite right here because then these things bring up. I'll have to change the controls, but for now, let's just assume we're going to do it like this. So now we can drive over. Oh, crap. We don't even have steering. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got now we got turning on this thing. And we're going to do 2 to bring it down. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Okay, now he's, now he's broken, okay? But he's not completely broken. No, no. No, he's playing dead. Oh, shit. Well, what are we doing? What's happening? See, this is why I shouldn't. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't have done it like that. Now, when things are connected to each other, everything kind of goes to shit. Look at this! Isn't it amazing? It's really one of the one of the wonders of the world for sure. Look, I just destroyed a building just just by encountering a glitch. This guy is having a great time. I'm sure he is. He's loving life right now. Okay, it's kind of working. It's not working. It's not working. It's gonna get you killed. It's gonna get us killed. Somebody is gonna die if we do that. Watch. Just just to prove Ha, it's you. It was you. Good. Now, what we do next is we bring our thing over here. Okay, bring it down. And we uh we deliver him. Come on, get oh crap. Pick him up. Oh crap. Okay, he's stuck down there. We can't get him. We can't get him. Next step is to change the detach buttons, okay? Okay. Torture number one is to stick this guy with some uh some spikes. So these spikes should now come out with the H buttons. Yeah, right in it. Look at that. It's gonna it's gonna poke his little ass and get caught in there. So now we should have no trouble stabbing him. It should go right in there. Yeah, nice and up close. A nice beautiful look at that. Okay. We can let it let go. Okay. So just there that just like that. That is how it's gonna work. We're gonna stab him. Okay. Then we have to move on to part two. What are we gonna do for part two? Mm, I don't know. Maybe some saws. Okay, look at this. I don't I don't know how we're gonna stop that from happening, okay? But but look at those beautiful saws. Look at how they just come up and just get in there. It looks like someone flexing their beautiful saw muscles and stuff. But as soon as they touch, as soon as they touch that grabber. Oh hell breaks loose! Anyway, now we need I think one more thing should do it, and then I've got the last part that I'm going to do, which is going to be pretty damn cool, in my opinion. Okay, guys, you may have missed it a little bit, but I now think my machine is complete. It'll make more sense soon, okay, what's going on here. Basically, what we need to do is we need to drive this thing up first, okay? I don't want anything to break, and it's not going to turn very well, because there's so much going on here. We can just turn a little bit. There you go, it turns a little bit. We need to actually bring the first one down like this. Guys, guys, get out of my face. Nope, get in my face, right here. Oh, crap, my button. Oh, I got someone, okay. Okay, I need you to die. I need you to die. The best way to make you die, I would say, is to just move you a bunch. You'll probably die on your own. Come on. Okay, I need you. I need you to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Into the ground. Come on. Into the ground. Crap. We may have missed this step. Go. I got you. I got you. I got you killed. Okay, I got you killed. Is anything broken? Nothing is broken. We are still good to go. So now we need to go over here. We need to get this guy. Go over here. Grab him. And then let him go. Whoop. Shit. Let him go. Okay, now... And what did I do? Okay, we had some minor technical difficulties, but we're back at it again, guys. Don't worry. It'd be easy if we could make him die. There. Well, yes, thank you very much. I think that guy just stabbed him with his big old long thingy. The stabby thingy. Okay, now bring that over. Bring it down. And then we decouple. And we bring this back. Okay. And now we stab. Look at it. We're stabbing him. Yeah, that's right. Torture that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all that blood going everywhere. I think you're just about done here, bud. You were just about done here. That's fine. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave that there, and we're gonna move you on to the next step. Touch you off this thing. Let you go. Bring you up with the. Nope. Wrong button. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, crap. No. No. Wait. He fell off. No. No. He was not supposed to fall off. Damn it. 
Oh god, now I gotta go back and get another one. Hold on, that's okay. There's a guy waiting right in front. I don't know why, but he is, okay? He's not a very smart one. Okay, we killed him. We killed him. We squat him under our vehicle. Or, as somebody commented, it's not squat, it's squish. Whatever you want to call it. I'm from a weird place. Okay, this is working really well. Look at him. Look at him standing on his head. Stabbing you like that. You're all mine, buddy. You're all mine. If I only knew the controls, things would be so much easier. Okay. Now, the saws are coming next. There you go. Okay, so we're sawing this guy up. That's all good. Makes him feel great. We're going to let go of that. We're going to move over here. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Round ones. Damn it. And now we're going to smack him with some boulders. I think they're on M and N. Boom. 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 Okay, okay. We don't want our, we don't want our machine to get hurt here. We don't want our machine to get hurt. We are almost done. The next step, of course, is to bring this thing down and grab him from here. We got him. We just need to let go with X and bring him up again. Okay. And then how do we let go? I don't know what I put the button on. Oh, it's on K. No, it's not on K. V? Okay, it's on V. Everything else fell down too, but we got the guy in here, okay? And now we can control our other vehicle. You must a couple. Just a little bit further. Come on. I, I don't know why it didn't disconnect from here. I said it so it would disconnect from here as well. Come on. Disconnect. Oh, God. What button did I put you on? Are you on a button? I don't even know. Who cares? Let's just burn them. There we go. We're burning the bodies. We're destroying the evidence. Nothing ever happened. He's in there getting cooked. And there you go, guys. That is my torture factory. It's really hard to get to work and really confusing. I'll try and mess with it and make it a little bit more intuitive. But basically, you get the guy tortured over here with the uh, with the spikes and the saw and the boulders. You know, you got your blunt force and you're cutting and, and you're poking. And then you bring him over here and you burn the body where... Uh, where nothing else gets hurt, and nobody can see it, and our crimes never happened. And that is where I'm going to end this video. So thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Besiege. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.